Hello, um, I'm Melvin Kalimag of NewsBytes.ph. I'm here to discuss about um, fake news and how to spot fake news. Okay, let's start. Uh, what is fake news? Curious was President U.S. Donald uh, Trump who popularized the term. Uh, some experts say fake news is an oxymoron or a contradiction. Journalists say um, term fake term news recorded to read that that is factually correct. So say uh, uh, news is is actually a contradiction. Okay, uh, the emergence of fake news was mainly caused and abated by the internet and social media, particularly Facebook. It was even reported to have been used to influence elections here and abroad. Let's define fake news. Fake news is generally uh, defined as stories written with the intent to mislead in order to damage an entity or a person to gain financially or politically, often using sensationalist, dishonest, or outrightly outright fabricated headlines to increase readership. While not technically false, fake news also comes in the form of clickbait stories and hide headlines, which also earn advertising revenue from this activity. Stories that have some truth but are not 100% accurate are also deemed fake news. Okay, for example, a journalist quotes only part of what a politician says, giving a false impression of their meaning. Again, this can be deliberate to convince readers of a certain viewpoint, or it can be the result of an innocent mistake. But nonetheless, it's still fake news because it's mistake, it's false. Either way, it quickly attracts an audience and can become entrenched as an urban myth. Let's go to the three types of fake news. The first one is misinformation. This is spreading or um, creating false information disseminated with harmful intent. Okay? Please note that uh, without harmful intent, please. Please note there is no harmful intent. It's just false info- information. The second type is disinformation. Okay? These stories stories are created and shared by people with harmful intent as opposed to misinformation which has no intent, no harmful intent. This information has a harmful intent. Okay? I hope you got the distinction. The third one is malinformation. Okay, this is the sharing of genuine information, real information, but with the cost to, to harm, um, uh, with the intent to cause harm. Okay, but you had have an agenda. Okay, you have a bias. That's why you are doing that. Although it's genuine, you have an agenda. Why should we care about fake news? Is there a real? Are there real, real life consequences of uh, spreading or creating fake news? Of course, there are. Okay, in these times of uh, no, no, pandemic, uh, an example would be the 5G coronavirus uh, conspir- uh, conspiracy theory, which went from no, urban myth to mainstream. Okay, it casts a doubt on wireless technology leading to a negative development that I don't know that ex- exacerbated the lack of connectivity in the time of pandemic in, uh, in these times where people uh, were afraid to allow wireless technology to be uh, to be set up because of this false story fake story fake news okay we go to identifying um, fake news how to spot fake news these are just a few tips you no know? Uh, mainly, ano lang to, uh, very, very um, common, common, common sense. Okay, first one is be having a critical mind. No? Having, a, uh, having a critical mindset. One of the reasons why fake news is such a big issue is that it is often believable. Which means it is easy to get caught out of that story. Many fake news stories are also written to create shock value to seize to seize uh, seize your 
attention, you know, appeal to your senses, and you know, uh, in 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 secure in IT security they call this uh, social media engineering. Okay. Thus, it is important that you keep your emotions uh, in check and approach the stories with rationality and criticality. Second one is to, t- to check the source and who else is reporting it. Okay. If you come across a story with a, from a source that you've never heard before, it's only proper or rational that you check um, the history of this, uh, no, no, this news outlet that reported the story. Find out a bit more about the publisher. Is it a professional and well-known uh, news agency? Or is it just a personal blog? Diba? Check the web address. Strange sounding URLs that end in extensions like infonet, .offer, rather than .com or .net that we usually see uh, are, are know, indications of, uh, know, of uh, uh, sources of fake news. Also, yung, if if the spelling of or our spelling or grammatical errors are are present, that could be a, a red flag as well. Check whether the story has been picked up by other well-known news publishers like ABS-CBN, Philippine Daily Inquirer, Philippine Star. If the information you have uh, you have is not from those from from well-known sources like like this, uh, the one I mentioned. Chances are, are fake, but of course there are also no so one other less well-known uh, media companies like Newsbytes, the one that I run. Um, but if you check, uh, it's so it's, it's important that you check that you know, each of these news outlets are reporting, so you so, so you know it's if it if they are legitimate or not. A credible news story will include plenty of facts, quotes, data, statistics, and all those things, you no. Know? Uh, if these are missing or the source is a known expert or just a friend, well, probably, uh, more or less, this, this, uh, this story is, uh, is uh, fake or spreading false information. Okay. Um, does the evidence prove that something definitely happened? Or the facts has been twisted to black to back up a particular view- viewpoint, those are uh, no, those are also indications that the story might be fake news. Okay, so you have to be very very careful. Okay, last lastly, um, look for fake images. Um, uh, modern editing software has made it easy for people to create fake new, fake images that look professional and real. In fact, research shows only half of us can tell when images are fake. Okay. Um, what are indications that um, images are fake or manipulated? Merong, uh, merong strange shadows or jagged image, uh, jagged edges, edges of the uh, along the no, the, uh, the sides of the image. If you have doubts, you can use tools such as the Google Reverse Image Research to check whether the image has been altered or used in the wrong context. So, are there efforts to fight fake news in the Philippines? Yes, there are. Okay, um, Facebook has, in fact, partnered with uh, Verifiles and Rappler to fact check some, uh, no, no, um, stories that are coming out uh, online, mostly online. There's also an app which won a regional uh, hackathon recently. Um, this app, uh, a team of Filipino developers created a network graph to track purveyors of disinformation by mapping out the relationship of fake news websites with each other. So this is an ecosystem, an, an ecosystem of fake news. Okay, That's all, folks. Uh, I hope you got something from this presentation. Please vis- uh, visit our my, my website, newsbytes at, newsbytes.ph. It's not a fake news website. So thank you very much.